We're now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of Hedgesville football, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, the court's decision has finally been made and everything is in place. You guys will take on Spring Mills to begin the postseason the way the regular season ended just uh, i guess your thoughts for starters on uh the decision uh, i mean i think you know for the for the well-being of the kids i think it's, it's good that we came to a you know a decision to get the kids back on the field uh and playing football where they belong coach how i guess difficult was it the last few days not knowing exactly who you guys were going to be playing and how do you think that affects things friday night uh, i mean for us uh, you know, we've been preparing for, you know, three, four different possible scenarios. So, you know, we've we've been preparing for, you know, we prepared for Martinsburg. First, we started off preparing for Jefferson. Then we started preparing for Martinsburg. Then there was a possibility maybe Huntington slips in, this, that, or the other. And then, you know, the possibility of always Spring Mills uh, winning their appeal. And, you know, for us, we've been preparing for, you know, four different scenarios. Our kids have been, uh, you know, really good about coming in and preparing and, knowing what our uh what we're trying to do in our game plans for each and so now at least we're locked in on one as i mentioned at the start you guys take on spring mills the team that you ended the regular season against a few weeks ago is it difficult to prepare for a team that you just faced or does it come uh, a lot easier because you just saw them uh, i think for us it you know, I wouldn't say it's easier just for a simple fact of, you know, the product they're going to put on the field. But, uh, you know, we, we've seen them live action, and, you know, that's always good when you've been on the field with them already. So your kids sort of know what to expect with the speed and the, and the strength and the scheme. Uh, so for us, it's just about cleaning up some things and, and making sure we're in right alignment assignment and, you know, knowing where we need to be. Quick follow-up to that is how do you make sure, I guess, on the difficult side of things in my mind was that you don't kind of over-adjust the game plan going in yeah i mean for us we're not going to change what we what, what we did i think there were some things that we have to critique as far as you know we were a couple times we were you know we slid inside when we should have been outside on some coverage stuff uh you know lost contained on one time just because we slid too far inside as a defensive man it's just little things like that to clean up and you know try to put ourselves in the right spot 100 percent of the time instead of you know 75 or 80 percent and coach you guys did some good things in that game you were competitive in terms of not being down by too many points uh for a while so what's i guess the team's confidence level heading into this game in terms of you were able to do some good things and like you said it's not so much what you did but more so how you did it in some of those plays yeah i I think you know we we took our guys out at halftime just you know we couldn't afford to lose anybody to injury in that second half and have anybody out for the playoffs but you know up until those guys you know came out of the game uh i thought we were really really competitive on the defensive side we flew around put them in some long situations you know but when you got a quarterback that can run and throw like uh like max does and you know, you got big, long, lanky receivers that they can throw jump balls and stuff to, and they and they run the ball really effectively. So for us, you know, it's another opportunity to get out here against uh, one of the top tier teams. But I thought we did some really good things defensively. Offensively, we drove the ball uh, three three times. We got inside the thirty driving in, and we just couldn't finish. Um, and that's been a story of this year. But you know, any time that you can move the ball against a a really, really good team like that. You know you have something going. We just got to figure out a way to finish it. When talking to you throughout the year, Coach Faircloth, the theme's really been just the youth, it feels like, for your team and kind of the inexperience that is uh, brought along with it, even though as weeks go on, they obviously gain more experience. But now with them still being young, trying to get them in playoff mode, what what are some things that you guys maybe – try to do to make sure that they understand uh, it's a winner-take-all, loser-go-home mentality now? Well, you know, I, the, the kids understand now it's, you know, one one game you lose, you're gone. Um, but I think, you know, after I, we told the kids after the Liberty game, there's no no such thing as youth and experience anymore. We, we're, we're five, six, seven games into it. Uh, you, I think you by this time, you got plenty of experience. We're still they're still young kids, but the experience level, you got six, seven games at the varsity level. Now it's time to execute and go out and play football. But you know, they've been getting better, especially those young kids playing in some <laughs> some pretty key roles. Uh, you know, we're starting a freshman on our O line, uh, starting some sophomores on, on our back end and some starting some sophomores uh on our line along with some guys at the skill spot. So, you know, I think now there's there's no excuse of being uh 
beautiful anymore. Now it's just going out and executing, playing high school football. And coach, um, with the updated rankings, it ended up being that the top three teams in the state are from the EPAC. So just, I guess, what does that mean to you and, and the conference to see um, that that final rating? I mean, it, I, I say it all the time. You know, any time that you're – any Friday night in EPAC is, is, is a knockdown drag out. doesn't matter who you play uh, just because this conference is so tough. I mean, it just shows you how, how good the Eastern Panhandle is. Uh, athletically, I mean, it's not just going to be football. I think it's going to be basketball, baseball, and other other sports across the board. Um, this area is this area is flourishing with you know young talent, um, and it's going to it's only going to get better. Um, I think in the next couple of years, I think the competitive balance is going to level out a little bit, and it's still going to, it's going to be a knockdown drag out. Heading into this game, how do you uh, make sure that the offensive side of things is a uh priority to get jump started to be able to compete with the spring mills defense uh you know looking at looking at the film seeing what we did last time what was effective what wasn't um you know the last week or so we went really really heavy on the offensive side making sure you know we could critique some things that you know we didn't take advantage of that we need to um you know, and that, that's where probably our last four or five days uh, of prep have been. Uh, we got into defense yesterday. We're getting into it again heavy today. Uh, we had a team scrimmage on Friday night under the lights, played it like a game. Uh, so I think they got they got some things going. It's just at the end of the day when the lights come on and, and, and the crowd's in the stands, we got to go execute and finish. All right, Coach, we'll get to our uh, fun question this week. This week uh, <laughs> our question is, would you rather watch a movie or read a book? Oh, definitely watch a movie definitely watching a movie it's the last movie that you watched oh let's see uh i'm big on uh you know uh i watched lone survivor i think last night but i've watched a lot of those a lot of those uh war movies so that was that was my last one but uh that's probably my favorite all right thank you coach for the time best of luck against right, Spring Mills. thank you